this faulty premise that we can always keep expanding human population and human consumption of resources, how does that perpetuate? I think what it happens is this, is essentially you have this, this physical reality based upon the availability of fossil fuel energy, which essentially allows us to raise our short-term carrying capacity of the planet um, tremendously. We are able to now organize the resources of our planet to support more and more people and more and more consumptive lifestyles to a point where it's gone on for so long and we've met so many challenges that in its essence we developed a, a culture that reinforces the idea that there are no real consequences to our actions because even if there's a short-term problem we will have the ingenuity and the ability to solve it. The society in general then has generation after generation going back with that belief system and those set of expectations. And so to be able to turn that around when all anyone who's alive today can see is just, you know, this, this era of human progress that's, that goes back into the past and they assume is going to stretch out to the future and is embedded in, all, in, in the laws and the habits that people have. Uh, it's just sort of a positive feedback loop. So there you see this cultural constraint then on change that becomes very, very dangerous because when that is challenged, it's challenging generations of belief and assumptions. And what happens is that those who challenge it are essentially putting themselves outside of their own culture. And that becomes very difficult to, to handle as an individual psychologically and emotionally because you're constantly going to be, you're going to also be looking at your own culture and seeing, oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's crazy. And yet the culture will look back at you and say, you're crazy. And it becomes a, um, a matter of, you know, understanding epistemology. How do you know what you know? Most people know what they know based upon what their culture has taught them over time, unquestioning. And then there are there are people who actually have, you know, have to study the raw data and they're trained as scientists to have their belief system based upon evidence. And when that, when that contradicts you know, generations of belief, they're just like, hear no evil, see no evil, you know, please, you know, get out of my face, I can't handle this. And um, that became incredibly frustrating to me. You know, I have, I have kids, um, I want... I want you know, peace on earth, I want all good things, and yet I found that people that also want those things unable to realize that, um, you know, that, that we're all a huge part of this problem. It should have.